Hello! In this video we will tell you about the improvements in knife cutting operations that are available in the latest Fruitcom update. For now, Knife Op project is opened. You can find it in the examples. The first thing that you can see is knife setting on the tool page. Or by the green color the front cutting edge and by the red color the back cutting edges are defined. By the way, the names of sizes are renamed. This is the distance to the front cutting edge and this is the distance to the back cutting edge. A front cutting edge angle and back cutting edge angles respectively. The depth of knife is the operation parameter but it also saves in knife into library and automatically applied to a particular knife. Also, inclination angle parameter is added. Inclination angle allows you to realize an oblique knife. Means that this angle will be taken into account when the tool is lowered into the material and when it leaves. Let us see the operation parameters. Cutting edges parameter that can perform cutting was added. Now we have a project as it is, but if we watch how the cutting was made, we will see that the cutting edge is back one. When approaching a corner, we straighten the cutting edge. The exit takes place parallel to the corner. That means that the red edge is parallel to the corner. After that turning and again we have a lowering that occurs parallel to the corner, and so on. Now we can say that the cutting edge is front only, that is green one. After the toolpath calculation we see that the cutting edge is green one. It is possible to set the parameters of the edge as front only, back only, front and back or back and front. The last two parameters depend on the machining side and more relevant for the second 2D knife cutting operation. The next update is consider knife shape parameter. Now this parameter is on. All the ticks are activated and you already saw the toolpath with it. If we turn off this parameter, run the new toolpath, then we'll see that when approaching a corner the shape of the knife is not taken into account. In this case we can say that the knife is a needle with zero diameter and as in previous knife approaches, turns and so on. So now we can say that we turned off any account of the knife shape. If we want to set any overlaps, we have the parameters of front edge overlap and back edge overlap. For example, if we set the parameters by 1 mm and recalculate toolpath, we'll get the overlap of the center for 1 mm. Then turn with the overlap equal 1 mm. It's useful to take into account a shape of knife, but sometimes for 2D operations it's necessary to ignore, for example, the front and back angles of the knife. In this case, we'll return overlaps to 0, then the toolpath calculated, as like there would not be any turnings in corners. That means that the tool will lift so that the leading edge is not parallel to the corner. Then turn and again lowering without taking into account the parallel edge of the corner. You'll get such result if you turn off the accounting of the front and back angles of the knife. Also, cutting depth option was added. By the default it is highlighted with the green. That means that the value is taken from the knife parameter which may not be saved in the library. For example, 
you've set the cutting depth as 5 mm. Calculate the toolpath. We can see that automatically in a corner, accounting until the knife touches the corner, as this parameter is turned off. That's all about new parameters. They are slightly redefined. Also, significant changes occurred in 2D knife cutting. Let us open another project. Delete the operation. We'll create a new one. Here, cutting is done by a robot. Now create a new operation. We open the .dxf file that contains layout of workpieces for which cutting program with the help of a robot is necessary. First, we create a new 2D knife cutting operation. We can see the knife shape. Set some parameters like the length of the knife, for example 50, and set dimensions. OK, next we set the working plane and add all the curves that we have. Next we set the working plane and add all the curves that we have. It should be noted that these two curves are located behind the robot and cannot be continuously processed due to limitations on the first axis of the robot. Therefore, we exclude them from the list of processed contours. We can set the save level at which transitions between the contours will be performed and set the lift in corners parameter. Calculate the toolpath. Oh yeah, uh, here we can set the tool type of the knife for example, 2 mm for both sides. Now we recalculate the toolpath. So, what is changed here? The main difference of the robot is that the turns on the 6 axis for most of them are limited to the range from minus 360 to 360 degrees. When moving from contour to contour, the system automatically reverses the 6 axis so that it has enough restrictions to fully process the contour. That's all about new options in knife cutting. Thank you for your attention.